Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison. But these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 1, Jupiter Hammond. Jupiter Hammond was born a slave on Long Island in 1711. He was still a 50-year-old slave when he published his poem, An Evening Thought, Salvation by Christ with Penitential Cries and he was still a slave when he died in his 90s, having published a handful of other works. Although he was no apologist for the evils of slavery that he experienced firsthand, he had far more in common with the long-suffering title character of Harriet Beecher Stowe's 1852 novel Uncle Tom's Cabin than with the fiery abolitionist sentiment of a sojourner truth or a Frederick Douglass. A devout Christian and a pastor to his fellow slaves, Hammond argued in his poetry that slavery was a sin that harmed the slave owner's soul far more than it afflicted the slave's body and that divine justice would eventually win out in the end. You can see this perspective at work in his 1786 poem, An Essay on Slavery, with justification to divine providence that God rules over all things. Our forefathers came from Africa, tossed over the raging main, to a Christian shore therefore to stay and not return again. Dark and dismal was the day when slavery began. All humble thoughts were put away, then slaves were made by man. When God doth please for to permit that slavery should be, it is our duty to submit till Christ shall make us free. For more information about Hammond and more examples of his work, follow the link at the top of this page to the Poetry Foundation's website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, You'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam, as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio.